She's dressed up in costumes and pose. It almost looks like something out of silent movie. It says here Camp Jackson, Columbia, South Carolina. You know, she she's all these pictures of her in in, in costume and almost like she's like in a, in in these silent movies or and stuff. And she was a, a nurse, and she she decided they they put on. So there's a picture of a theater where they did it. She decided to. They didn't like a show with all the um, hospital staff was in it to entertain the patients and the troops, and she produced it. And it was all around parodies of Mother Goose rhymes. And it had music in it, and it had, and apparently it was a big hit. And um, as I said, oh, she had to come out for all these curtain calls. That, 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 I think my grandfather might have actually seen that, though, somehow, because it sounded like he came to see it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, oh, well, I got, Lucille got all the curtain calls or something for producing it. And um, it was funny because um, she, I was back at the World War I Museum in Kansas City last year, and I was going through all the you know, dioramas and things they had and the different, and this one showcase, they had this book that had been uh, uh, articles that were on a soldier, and they had this printed book of Mother Goose rhymes. So I'm saying it must have been some big thing at the time. Just like when I was a kid, it was all about Charles Schultz and Peanuts, yeah. you know what I mean? It, there must have been some big thing going on about Mother Goose Rhymes. There was enough they wanted to do a whole, you know, theme of a, of a play around it, you know? Because everybody came. It was just a packed house because that was the only thing going on, yeah. you know what I mean? And it was a, it was a really big deal. And, and she still got letters about it from people and everything years afterwards remembering her and that, you know, that was like... That was like her, uh, her chance to really like live her fantasy.